screen. Yeah, absolutely. I I know about the system. I know how to. You know about the system. I, I, I use I use all of them. I use Zoom. I use Webex. I use Board Meeting. Every of them. Great. So I'll, I'll Great. Uh, record the mm-hmm. signals. All right. Thanks for joining in, Maria. We can start the session now. And uh, I just want to check if you can hear me loud and clear, and also if you can see my chat. And uh, are you able to hear me loud and clear? If and also, if you're able to see the chat, uh, able to see my screen, please do acknowledge in the chat, Maria. Whichever way works for you. I, your voice was not coming in properly, so you can use the chat if you wish to. Give me a quick confirmation in the chat so that I can get started with today's session. All right, you can see and hear. Uh, and all right, and if you can see the screen and you can hear me clearly. Perfect. Thank you, Maria. Really appreciate that. My name is Nick. I'm going to go ahead and talk about myself a bit so that you get to know uh, who's your trainer. And then we'll start with the session today. We'll let you know what exactly I'm going to, going to be covering across uh, in this four-day training. And uh, also, we'll take down your expectations and we'll get to know where do you really come from and what uh, do you really want to achieve and so forth. Okay, my name is Nick. I'm a digital marketing enthusiast and a digital marketing professional. I've been into this uh, industry for the past 18 to 19 years, all right, since 98. So it's going to be a couple of decades and another year or so forth. That's the time when I started uh, my career in this industry. And I look after both the side of this particular industry. One is the servicing side and the other is the education one. So like I'm here, I'm training across uh, you and I've been trained, I've been, I have trained several participants, several people in this industry. It's been more than 5,000 professionals. I think the numbers would have really gone up now. And uh, in terms of the servicing, when I say servicing, I have helped uh, various businesses in terms of meeting their internet marketing needs. And uh, it's been close to 1,200 plus websites, 1,200 plus businesses, you can say, uh, whom I've helped in achieving their internet marketing goals, whether it was done with the help of the paid campaigns or the unpaid campaigns and uh, various different businesses from uh, uh, different industries all together and the size of the business. If I talk about, uh, I, I focus majorly on the small and medium sized businesses. I help them. All right. So that was about uh, what sort of stuff I do in terms of my certifications, what I'm, I mean, uh, who all have uh, have certified me. I mean, you talk about any certification in this industry, I've made myself eligible for that. So certifications, all the possible certifications from Google, Bing, HubSpot, YouTube, and several others. All right, I've already told you that it's been all, almost going to be a couple of decades in this uh, industry to me. In terms of my education, I did my master's in business administration from University of Toronto. So I am basically from Toronto, Canada, and also New Delhi, India. All right, so uh, that so I, I keep moving here and there, and so forth. And other than the training, like I said, I am this I'm in the servicing, and I started my career by working in various different digital marketing agencies. All right, so I worked with agencies which are based out of United Kingdom, with based out of United States and several other places, all right, and also Canadian internet marketing agencies. Now, at present, I have a full-time role to take care of other than the training, which is uh, with my agency. I, I am a founder of uh, one of the Canadian-based uh, internet marketing company that's by the name of Bio Creations LTD. So that's something which I uh, started way back in 2008. And uh, you can, if in case you want to know more about it, you can anytime refer to this URL, you can go to that website. So we do offer various different internet marketing services like search engine optimization, social media marketing, email marketing, and several other things which are there in the internet marketing space. That's what we really cater to and that's what we provide to our clients. Okay, the, other than this, uh, I would also like to tell you that I'm a speaker uh, at several universities and colleges, some of them being the University of Toronto, the same university which I passed out from, Humber College, Toronto, IIM, Ahmedabad, IIM, Bangalore, IIT, Karakur. These are some of the colleges and the universities which I uh, go ahead and give trainings as, uh, on, on a regular basis. In case you want to know more about me, uh, other than this, you can anytime go to linkedin.com 
and type in my name, which is Nick Batla. My first name Nick and my last name is Batla, B-A-T-H-L-A. You can type in there. You, you're going to find only one person, one profile, which is me, which is mine. You can anytime look into my profile in detail. You can connect with me also in there. That's the last thing about me from the introduction side. Uh, other than this, I do deliver trainings on a regular basis for Google. I'm a, uh, I'm a regional trainer for Google Southeast Asia region. I'm a uh, trainer. I'm a digital marketing lead trainer for GoDaddy, for Microsoft, for Market Motive, and several other organizations. All right. So that's about me in terms of my introduction. I, I would like to know about you, Maria. Where do you really come from? What's your objective? Like, what, what do you want to achieve out of this training? Uh, you can use either the chat window. You can use, uh, your, you know, you can you can go ahead and speak as well, whichever works best for you. So just a small introduction from your side. That's what I would request. All right, Maria, thank you so much. So are you saying you're working for an advertising agency? All right, so it's been three years, okay. So what, what kind of stuff do you do within the agency and uh, what are your plans moving further? I'm sure that you have taken this training for the objective of uh, building your skill sets in the digital world. All right, so you're taking care of marketing and strategy. So when you say marketing and strategy, are you uh, the BDL and the ATL both? Okay. Uh, can I get to know the name of the agency, if you don't mind sharing that? INH advertising. All right. So, uh, when you look at the marketing and the strategy part, I'm sure that you know, you're more towards the account planning and also uh, you're the front face for the client, right? For your agency. Am I saying it correct? And uh, is it more to do with the offline advertising? Or is it more to do with the online? Or is it saying yes, but mostly with the ATN and the BDN? All right. Okay. So, all right. Most of your work is involved there. Okay. And what is the objective now? Like when you're uh, looking forward to building your skill sets in the digital world. Are you presently doing anything related to the digital part, related to the internet marketing part at present in your agency? All right. So you're saying you would like to know more about the social media, about SEO, about Google AdWords. Yes, right. We will be focusing more on these parts. That is correct. Right, so we'll start with Google AdWords today, which is the paid segment, and uh, we'll definitely talk more in detail about what all things. Uh, do you want to try using your uh, microphone again? Maybe that might work. Do you want to give it a chance, or uh, chat is fine? All right. Uh, I, I'm saying, do you want to try using your microphone once again? Do you want to try speaking? All right, I'll just unmute you. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, I just want to know more. Uh, when you want to know, when you say that your expectation is that you want to know more about social media and Google Apps, mm. are you going to be uh, looking towards executing these campaigns by yourself within your agency or? Uh, you're looking to oversee and, uh, you know, from the, from the top side in your agency, how is this going to work like? 
Yes, uh, because first of all, like for our social media and our agency, uh, I'm only handling like everything, like uh, posting about something in our uh, also social media platforms. But um, when it comes to like making a, a paid advertisement, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how to do it. Because uh, there's someone before, one of my colleagues who's taking care of it, but uh, he already left the company. That's why. Okay. So I just want to know more about this. And uh, second thing for the Google AdWords and SEO, like uh, you asked me a while ago if, I, if, I, if my expectation is about after the training, if I want to execute, yeah. Uh, I want to, be, to know more about this uh, or what they call the strategy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I can apply it as well, like to, if there will be a, a inquiry or requirement in the future from our clients, so I can use uh, everything I learned from this training. Makes sense, makes sense, all right. So, uh, what I can understand is that you would be implementing these things uh, on your own whenever there's going yeah. to be a query from the client. All right. Yes, yes, exactly. Perfect. Just, just uh, So, let's let's just start with the... Having said that, any any further questions you have before I move further and we talk uh, about? Uh, yeah, I just want to uh, add additional information because usually, if there will uh, there's a uh, requirement for SEO or Google AdWords, we usually outsource it. Outsource it. Mm -hmm. So we don't have like an in-house person who's going to do everything uh, for SEO and Google AdWords. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just want to give you this information so you have an idea where to start uh, the training. Mm -hmm. Yo, all right, I got your point. So you're already outsourcing it, whatever queries yeah. you're getting. Now you want to build an in-house uh, core expertise. Got, yes, got your yes. Point. yes. All right, all right. And... Uh, so I, I'll tell you the way people say agencies, the people to whom you are outsourcing your work, how do they really work, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's do with Google AdWords or SEO, most, most of these things are actually a teamwork, okay? So mm -hmm. depend upon the nature of the client, uh, client's business, who's going to approach you, mm -hmm. the, the amount of uh, advertising, when I say the amount as in the size of their business, the size of their website, and the amount of mm -hmm. work they want, uh, on that depends whether it's going to be an individual who can work on their Google AdWords or SEO, or whether it's going to be a team which would be needed. So that is a different call altogether, which you can think later on. But once you mm -hmm. will do the training, you'll at least have the skill sets first to do it by yourself, and second, whenever you would be needing somebody in in your agency to work along with you you will be able to uh, identify the uh, right person for your team okay right? yeah so yes, yes. that's that's what I, that's what i'm going to focus uh, on on all the aspects right so all in all you should have a wing all together within your internet marketing agency or within your advertising agency which can take care of the internet marketing part we're starting yes, with yes makes sense yes all right any other thing which you want to let me know like uh, no 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 all right that's great so uh when you're doing the apl and the bpl mm -hmm. bpl uh, i i i can assume primarily it's going to be more towards the events and so forth right uh, yes yes exactly right and when you're, when you're saying atl are you looking more towards the uh offline media like uh advertisements on newspapers and radios and television what 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 exactly are you looking at in terms of the atl you want to explain more uh, for the atl actually um, we don't have really more much requirement for like uh, radio or newspaper mm -hmm. so i just want to ask like for uh, events or something like that uh, mm -hmm. we're focusing on this like activation or something mm -hmm. uh, we mo we are uh, our agency is more focused on that kind of service okay Okay, that's the one. All right. And the present social media work which you're doing, which is saying mm -hmm. it's it's done for your own agency promotion or for any client's business promotion? Uh, we are doing both. Like for our, our, for our agency and for if there's a requirement also for our client, we're doing also for them. Okay. Okay. So you're doing both. And what sort mm -hmm. of stuff do you... So could you explain me uh, a bit more like uh, when you're doing social media... 
what mm-hmm. what what sort of activities are you performing uh for example um because we have, before we have the social media manager in our office he's also at the same time a copywriter mm-hmm. uh he's doing everything like for example if he if there's a requirement from our client he's handling the social media planning uh i'm just assisting him for mm-hmm. like for a one month plan for the social media for our client mm-hmm. and after that uh i'm only doing the execution like doing all the posting but when it comes to uh paid advertisement because not most of our client uh because if they're going to get us uh, for three or six months uh social media advertising mm-hmm. not most of the time like for example we're doing three posts a week right right so maybe once a week they will require a paid advertisement but uh the rest of the post we're doing it's not paid so we're basically just like post it uh, on, on their social media platforms then uh, that's it all right that's why i want to know um about uh, how to advertise how to do the targeting mm-hmm. for this one the right targeting for this one okay okay got your point so i'm just going to go ahead and pen down your uh you know expectations so you you already mentioned in your expectations that it's uh, majorly from a broader level it's seo google adwords right and also mm-hmm. social media these are the major three ones which you want to target which is quite a lot for these four 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 days i'll i'll try my best to give you the best of the best and the most important things in these four yes. days all right yeah. and uh, when you specifically talk about uh social media you are very much interested in knowing the paid part all right we'll mm-hmm. cover that seo is uh is unpaid basically and google yeah. adwords is paid right so there is yes. no unpaid thing in google adwords so we'll mm-hmm. understand this i've understood what exactly you do and what you're looking at so wherever mm-hmm. you think that uh, uh you know you 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 need some more information or particular stuff you can pause me you can ask me more questions and so on all right one more thing yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. you also want to uh, do you also want me to talk about how to uh, create a website or that part yes 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 okay yeah because uh, this is also like uh, one of services we are offering for our company so mm. uh, for now we have like at least three or four clients that uh, needs for like a website revamp or something like that website designing or something like that. planning for the website for a new website website all right okay see what i'm going to teach you with regards to the website creation we we cannot teach you coding and designing using the major yeah yeah yeah, yeah. designing tools what mm-hmm. i'm going to focus more on is how to create a website uh mm-hmm. the most in the non non technical manner all right so non technical manner yes. would not be needing across any coding skill sets plus no designing skill sets mm-hmm. would be needed but but still you would be able to create responsive when i say responsive websites which are which looks good on mobile tablet and desktop all all of them yes. plus these websites are going to be created very easily and great looking websites the i mean today uh in in today's uh, internet world um 90% of the websites are created this way which i'm going to teach you okay mm. and okay, uh, they're they're created with the help of a uh, a cms are you aware of what cms is not really what do you mean by cms okay i'll ask so are you have you heard of wordpress yeah wordpress yes all right so wordpress is a cms basically so i'll be ah uh, okay right so cms stands for content management system so just like word sorry content management system see ah, okay content management system so whatever i'm typing over here i'll definitely go ahead and share this doc with you later on mm-hmm. okay. since also the recording is uh, the recording is on you have the recording up so, yeah 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 all right i'm just going to go ahead and make the size bigger so we would start with how to create a website today and if it's going to be uh, in a non technical fashion you don't need any uh, like this, uh, coding for skill set for that we will be using yes, yes. a content management system and the content mm-hmm. management system which we will be using across for this particular uh, portion is going to be wordpress other than wordpress there are many other content management system uh, i'm just taking out few of the names uh, other than wordpress it's magento it's there 
all right magento m a g e n 3 o so okay. other, other popular cms why i'm telling you this is because sometimes you know the client comes and says that client is aware of sometimes the client is educated and he knows that other than wordpress there are other cms on which they would like their website to be made, made upon so magento mm -hmm. is one of them and it's primarily used for creation of an e-commerce website. WordPress on WordPress mm -hmm. also you can create an e-commerce website, but uh, if it's a bigger, it's a big e-commerce website, then Magento is the preferred one. Then there is OpenCart. Well, there are plenty of them, but I'm just letting you know the names of the most uh, renowned ones. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. So e com for, for OpenCart is also used for e-commerce and. Uh, the other one is Skypad. This is for a, for a basic corporate website, I can say. And then you have Zoomla. So, you know, these, I, I am not sure whether you have heard of these names. If not, then you, this might no. sound, all right. So there's no logic. It's, these, are just, these are just the name of the CMS, all right? And oh, okay. that, that CMS stands for Content Management. The idea behind using CMS is, to make sure that the content of our website is pretty much organized, is pretty much in shape, uh, so that the website owner can easily detect which particular page is where, and the editing of the website also becomes very easy. With content mm -hmm. management system, a non-technical person can go ahead and make changes to the website. You know, if I talk about, 10, 15 years back story when the CMS were not so popular, uh, making changes on the website always involved hiring a web developer, which used to be an expensive affair. Yeah. So much. But yeah. for this one, we have an in-house web developer, so he can he's uh, taking care of the technical the technical side of the website, like if there will for our clients. Right. So this is one. Website. This is one client. You know, you might get across a different client page who might expect mm -hmm. you to make changes on the website. So, you know, okay. if you know how to create a website on CMS and how to edit a website, uh, you can you can help that kind of client and even bill him, right? Uh, yeah. Right. Now, uh, making changes on a website which is built upon a content management system is very much like uh, making changes on a PowerPoint presentation or a Word document. Or I would say, mm -hmm. if you are good with... Uh, you know, uploading stuff on Facebook, it's as easy as mm. that. So, mm. uh, like I said, no coding, nothing of that sort is needed across. That's the best part of a content management system. So these are some uh, names. What I'm gonna be showing you, how to really get started with creating a website first. And then we'll, so this is gonna be portion number one, which we'll try to cover up today, all right? Which is April 28th. 2017 how to create a website okay that's going to be number first and then uh, SEO would come in later we'll start with Google AdWords part today uh, all right so I'll try my best to actually cover this up today itself these two yeah, yeah, yeah. okay and then Portion number three, which is going to be SEO, that would be April 29th. So that's the plan. Like, that, so I'm going to be flexible, and I think you would, you can also be in case there's some changes later on. So yes, SEO yes, is yes. right. SEO and Google AdWords. Uh, SEO is a bit, bit a longer topic, so we can continue with the SEO and social media the next week. All right, mm -hmm. next Saturday. Okay. And All right, so there could be talks about Google AdWords also in the next week and so forth. We would be sure. All right, so starting with the website, as we all know, whenever a business wants to promote across itself, there are several ways to do that. You're an advertising and a marketing professional. I don't need to, I don't need to put more emphasis on that. You know how the offline world works and what are the different channels you can, where a business can go ahead and take help of uh, the ATL and the, all the BTL activities, whether it's using any sort of a media. But when it comes yes. down to the internet space, uh, there are only limited number of uh, things through which uh, the promotion can be done. 
all right we have actually spoken about some of those limited like uh, creating ads on Google uh, doing optimization for the website promoting across in social media and then there are a few more things like uh, you know email is also there through email yeah. marketing we will see if we'll get some time maybe we can do that part also so uh, businesses promote uh, themselves on the internet space with the help of these particular channels so I, I call them channels everybody calls them channel whether it's the search engine the paid or the unpaid right so this is the paid paid part through search engines and this is the unpaid part all right so this is search engine is one of the channels social media is another channel and emails are another channel these are the major ones all right so uh, with on those channels the promotion of a business can only happen once the once a business has got a presence on the internet and how the business uh, web presence is going to be made up and that's the, the presence on internet for a business is going to be done by having a website first by setting up a website yeah. they're setting up a website or setting up across social media profiles as we all know the social media profiles uh, refers to having a facebook business page having a twitter yeah. handle having an instagram profile and so forth now many people yeah. say uh, you know for a smaller business it's is it okay that if they don't have a website and they just uh, use across the uh, you know the free tools available on the internet the free tools like the having a free uh, Facebook business page it doesn't cost anything having a, a Facebook business page Facebook doesn't charge you for creating a business page and uh, Twitter doesn't charge you for creating a Twitter profile Instagram doesn't charge you and there are several blog uh, you know platforms where there's no money which is needed to uh, you know spend to get a web presence well, uh, I'm answering this question. Many people say that is it okay to create a web presence? I I would say initially it's good to actually start with these kind of uh, uh, you know channels which are available for free. As in, when the business grows, it's very much important to spend in money and get web presence with the help of other channels. Which is website is the foremost important. Then creating across mobile apps is the next in thing, right? Uh, as the business grows, you do need presence across on all the channels. It's 360 degree marketing altogether on the internet space. So getting across a website is the first and the foremost thing which I'm going to tell you and getting across a website on WordPress. Now for a website creation, a different document for this. Give me one second. For a website creation, what we all need is a domain first. I hope you understand what do we mean by domain. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Yes, so, uh, domain is the name of a website which we have to choose. If somebody has already chosen across a name and there's a website which is there in place for whatever I'm thinking, I cannot mm -hmm. move that same domain, right? If uh, it's, it's Amazon.com, so uh, Amazon.com already exists, so I cannot go in and buy the same name, right? Mm -hmm. So, all I have to do is I have to book another uh, name. Now, who keeps the inventory who keeps the database of what all different names are available and what all different names are not available there is this organization called i can all right i'll just talk about this it's called i can mm -hmm. i can is a centralized body this is just good to know information i know uh, no no client is going to ask you and so forth and it's not going to help you in the mm -hmm. practical world but just for information's sake this is mm -hmm. a unified body which looks after the, the overall uh, so I can stands for internet corporation for assigned names and numbers this is a mm -hmm. centralized organization which is based out of Los Angeles California and they keep a track of what all different names are available and what all different names have been booked across and they have mm -hmm. collaboration with all the domain sellers one of the major renowned domain sellers is godaddy which you must have uh, i mean you must be knowing yeah. about them right i heard about this already here yeah. yeah so just like godaddy there are several domain sellers all right okay. so they all have uh, they all get themselves registered with the ICANN and then they are only able to sell across domains so okay let's say uh, i go to godaddy i can go ahead and book across a domain over there first of all i i uh, as a website uh, developer or as a business owner when I'm developing I'm, I'm looking to develop my website I have to first of all see what is the name of my website I'm gonna pick and choose and is that name available mm -hmm. so all you have to do is you can go into any of these websites like GoDaddy and then search 
whether the name which you have in your mind is available or not. So you, all you have to do is you have to just okay. type in. So I'm taking a name. Uh, is there any specific name which you want me to uh, really, do you have any, do you want to create across any website? I, we can create that also. Maybe um, by, by your you yeah. Can you just type uh, luxury rose or something like that? Uh, do you want to spell it out for me? Luxury, L U. L U. X O. X U, sorry, X U. Yes. R Y. Right, and R O S E. Luxury rose, all right. Yeah. So I'll just go ahead and check whether luxury rose, this domain is available. And. Uh, there are several TLDs. TLD stands for top level domains. So oh. like .com is, uh, is one of the TLDs. So Luxury Rose is not available. It's a, a premium domain basically. LuxuryRose.com mm -hmm. is not available. .in is available, mm -hmm. right? .co.in is also available. .shop mm -hmm. is available, all of these. So all of these mm -hmm. uh, extensions after the name which you uh, told me, these different extensions, mm. these are called top level domains. These are called okay. top level domains. There are two kinds of top level domains. One is the generic. So if you talk about generic, these dot shop, dot org, dot co, dot net, dot info, these are generic. Mm. And like okay. dot in, dot com, dot au, dot uh, so for uh, Dubai, I think it's uh, dot co, dot ae, right? Yeah, dot ae. Yeah. Dot ae. So these are geographical TLDs. If you are uh, building oh. a, a website for a specific business which is concentrating a specific uh, geographical location it makes sense to uh, go ahead and build a website on a TLD which is uh, which is a geographical TLD so dot in dot ca which is for Canada dot co dot uk mm. okay. so that makes sense so uh, yeah, yeah. do you want to pick and choose any one of these domains maybe uh, um um, maybe we can use that this uh, that co dot co so dot co one all right where is that I think I'm, all right so this one it says when you register yeah. for two years or more first year price is ninety nine and the second additional year mm -hmm. price is one nine four nine all right so mm -hmm. uh, I can go ahead and book this up or so this is dot online dot uh, x y z Shall I, mm. shall I just uh, go ahead and show it to you and maybe you can go yeah, yeah. for yourself all right later on I'll just go ahead and yeah. book a domain so you know one of the best pr practices or one of the tricks through which you can buy across a domain from GoDaddy for a lesser price I'm just telling you a trick what you should do is you should go to google.com and uh, okay type in a keyword in the search bar maybe something like buy domain for less all right this kind of a keyword now whatever mm -hmm. advertisement which you will see for godaddy on the top usually godaddy you know uh, gives across advertisements the google ads basically the search ads you can click yeah. on the page which is going to open up that is a promotional page basically over here most of the times the domains uh, pricing are a bit lesser than what you will yeah. by going directly onto godaddy all right mm -hmm. so that's what all right so but it's different like uh it's different do what we saw now. just a while back right so this happened only in this scenario i would have to check yeah this is available all right so all right so i'll just go and, uh, purchase luxury rose dot online right now i'm adding it to mm -hmm. the cart and I'm close. So building up a website, like I said, first you need a domain, you have to buy a domain. And the second thing which you need an investment again has to be made and that's from the hosting side. Do you understand what do we mean by hosting? Uh, yes. Not really. Can you please explain me about that? Sure. So hosting what happens is, so uh, like you have a laptop of yours, you have a desktop, you, you have a machine of yours. What do you do whenever you have to save a file? You save it on your yeah. laptop. Now the yes. file which you save on your laptop is accessible only with you. But uh, let's say if you want to share a, share the same file with anyone, you have to uh, take it from your laptop, either email it or using a flash drive to share it with someone. Right. 
Now, you must have used uh, Google Drive or Dropbox mm. in uh, file sharing platforms. Have you used them? File share? No, not I. Like Google not, Drive, you haven't used Google Drive. No, I okay. haven't heard such thing. Okay, no problem, no problem. All right, let me make it simple for you. See, I'm trying mm -hmm. to make you understand what hosting is. So, like the files which you have onto your computer is only accessible with you. All the yeah, files, yeah. all the files you need to have a look on, you have to save them somewhere, and you're saving it in your computer's hard drive. Similarly, your these websites, all the websites which are created. They also have got files, right? If I'll go on, let's say even Amazon. So the website which is made up over here has got so many files, so many files onto it. There's this image on the top, there's another image, there's some more content. Now, all of these files are actually getting stored somewhere. That's the only reason why uh, you know this website is up and running. So the place where these files get stored is called a server, hosting server. So for a website creation, yeah. you do need a domain, which is an, uh, the website name basically. And the second thing is a hosting. Mm -hmm. Hosting can be given across by okay. instead of people like GoDaddy can give you, or there are quite a many other players in the hosting space, which is like HostGator is another renowned one. What these guys do, they save your database and then they make okay. it public in the of a world wide web in the internet space it's their responsibility mm -hmm. it's the hosting people responsibility to make your website live by showing all the uh, images and all the data which you are uploading onto your website all right mm, okay so, so just to make so that's the simplest explanation which i can give you in the most non technical way mm -hmm. the place where your website's uh, file gets saved that's called hosting that's number second thing okay. that you need and uh, the second, the first thing which you need is a domain. That's it. When you buy both okay. of them, these are two investments which you need. When you buy both of them, you have to connect both of them, which I'll show you. How do you connect your hosting with domain? Your domain and your hosting would be connected. That's going to be step number three. Let me just okay. open across a document which I'm using and I have the steps there. So you will be buying across the domain and domain is always, already, uh, is always bought across on an annual basis. So the investment... Uh -huh would be needed across on domain is going to be on annual every year you will renew and every year we will pay similarly mm -hmm. so uh, mm -hmm. yeah, one second uh, if i'm going to buy a domain uh for example i will buy this the the one i mentioned a while ago mm -hmm. so every year i will renew it or it's just like a one-time payment no every year you will renew it you can uh, go ahead and make a one-time payment for the next 10 years that's the maximum Okay. Uh, okay. But that would be a, uh, uh, I mean, they will calculate the next 10 years price. So if you want to pay mm. for all the years uh, on those respective years itself, you can go ahead with that option. But every year there's a new renewal price. So let's say today, if I buy my domain and I pay the price for the next 10 years, then for the next 10 mm. years, I really don't need to get bothered. Uh, okay. And then uh, one more question. If I already buy a domain, Mm -hmm. And I did not use it. Is there like an expiration or something? Yes, after one year it will get expired. If you do not, ah, okay. do that again. yes. Okay. Right. Even uh, regardless that even if I don't use it or I use it, it will yes. be expired after one yes. year. Okay. Whether you use it or whether you don't use it, they're, they're expired after one year if you don't pay them again. Okay. okay. Right. Same goes for the hosting. Whether you use it or whether you don't use it, you will be paying them uh, uh, on annual basis. The best part about hosting is that you can buy it on monthly basis also. Let's say you want to create a website which you want only to be there for a month, month period. You can go for mm -hmm. a monthly plan also. But with mm -hmm. uh, domain, the minimum which you would have to pay is at least for one year. At least. Okay. All right. Now, hosting provider like HostGator, when we'll buy across a hosting, I will not be buying in front of you because I already have my hosting and I can give it to you also. All right, so let me give it just like that. So I've got hosting with HostGator. When you will buy across, let's say, hosting from them, they will be giving you two, three things. The okay. Three, two, three things which I'm talking about is going to be one is called control panel. All right. So I know uh, if, if you are hearing these things for the first time, it might sound a bit technical, but just uh, I'm going to make mm -hmm. it simple. One is called a panel. So if there's going to be control panel, which where okay. you'll get across, I'll show you how a control panel looks like. You'll get a 
URL for the, the website, the control panel URL, which you will enter into the browser. And you will also mm -hmm. get the username and password. You will be able to log into your control panel and do quite many things. Those quite many things we will talk okay. later. Plus, there is something called name server details, which I'll show you again. So four things hosting provider will give you when you will buy hosting. One is the control panel URL. Second is the username for your control panel. Third thing is the password for your control panel. And the fourth thing is the name server of your hosting. Okay. Name server is like uh, a certain, a unique uh, code, basically a unique name, mm -hmm. a unique name through which your server is being identified. This unique name, okay. which your server, uh, uh, you know, provider will give you like, let's say host creator will provide you, you will copy that and you would mm -hmm. have to paste it in the dashboard of your domain provider, which is GoDaddy. And that's the way your domain and hosting will get linked. So I'm just telling you theoretically, I'll show you practically also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So once you do this second step, so these are step one and step two. Step one, you have bought the domain. Step uh, step one, you bought the domain. Step two, you are, let's say you bought the hosting and you got these four things. Step three would be that you will copy those names from what it is like, which I just said a while back. And yeah, you yeah. will go to your domain provider, which is GoDaddy, and you will paste the name server settings at the right place. So there is a there's a uh, window within the domain uh, dashboard where you will paste the name server. So that's how your hosting and domain will get connected. That would be step number three. Mm. All right. I will show you. So this is just a, uh, a quick glance, a quick uh, screen where it's showing okay. the name servers. All right. So I went to the domain provider and I entered my name server. So this is like my name server one and name server two. This is just a mm -hmm. unique name. That's it. Unique okay. name. We'll enter this. Once we'll enter these name server and uh, our domain and hosting will get connected. Then we will open the C panel of our hosting. So do you, if you remember in the step two, I told you that C panel will be provided by a hosting provider. This is a screen grab of a C panel. Once mm -hmm. the C panel, which is C panel stands for control panel. Okay. Yeah. The control panel, once that gets opened up in that, there will be an option which will say installing WordPress. All right. So we will install WordPress for our website by mm -hmm. clicking over here, which I'll show you. We'll do live demonstration. All right. We'll get an option of installing any particular CMS of our choice. I told you that there are so many CMS available. Either there is yeah. a WordPress, Drupal, Zoomla, this is one is Magento. We have an option of choosing whichever one and we would not do, we would not be paying anything over here. The only mm -hmm. two investments which we have done so far is with the domain and also yeah. with the hosting. All right. Hosting. And I'll tell you what are the pricing which are involved and so forth. So domain and hosting doesn't really cost much. Domain is pretty less. You saw that. You can get it for as cheap as like uh, if I talk about INR, uh, 99 Indian rupees for the first year. I'm not sure how mm -hmm. much is that going to be in uh, the Dubai currency and so forth. Yeah. All right. You can always convert that. And the hosting also is, is bit on the, uh, uh, only a bit on the higher side as compared to domain. The, these are the two investments. And then you will be, uh, when these two investments are made, you install across WordPress, you will get this option. Once the WordPress gets installed, you will get the username and password again. Now there is another username and password, which you'll get initially. It was the control panel username and password. This time it's going to be the WordPress username and password and the login URL. All right. Mm. It's going to look like this. Once you will log into your WordPress, your website would be set up in uh, 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 almost the skeleton of your website would be set up. You will get across a dashboard like this where you can go ahead and mm. make changes to your website and build your website up. All right. Quite a many mm -hmm. things like uh, adding a page, adding an image to your website. All of those things can be done and pretty easily. Like I said, the way you uh, upload across stuff onto Facebook in the similar manner, in the similar easy manner, you can make changes to your website by going onto the WordPress panel, which looks like this. Okay. All right. Now the third investment which uh, is needed across in this space is of a theme. Now 
since we are not going to be hiring across a developer or a designer for mm -hmm. creating across a website we would be buying across certain paid themes i do have paid themes with me i can give it to you whichever one you wish to so you don't need to really invest okay. on the hosting and also the theme or and so forth so but still just for your knowledge sake i'm letting you know that quite a many paid themes are available and one of the popular website on which the wordpress themes are available is this themeforest.net i'll share this document with you all right yeah. you have the access to this doc so you know what we usually do is we go to this theme forest website and let's say my website is going to be about luxury stuff right i can go ahead and yeah. type in across the keyword uh the word around which my website is going to be once i have typed in it's giving me uh it's going to theme forest is going to give me a lot of options with regards to the same stuff which i'm looking at the kind of website which i'm looking at so it's a luxury website so as i you can see or it's it's not loading up right now it will load up mm -hmm. maybe in a while so themes are available for 59 dollars for 29 dollars for 15 now these are one time payment these are not mm -hmm. annual renewed all right mm -hmm. usually uh, how much is the minimum and the maximum charges for this for if you're buying a theme usually uh, so 29 is the minimum uh, and uh, mm -hmm. maximum is uh, 89 89 which i have seen 89 is the maximum it's like the the maximum no, range of the price not not the yeah usd us dollars yeah yeah usd right so now out of, out of all of these uh, you know themes i can pick and choose whichever one i want to and how i'm going to make a decision it's purely going to be on the design perspective i can have a look at mm. these by clicking on to let's say live preview mm. so i'm clicking on the very the first and the foremost one all right so it's opening up not sure it's taking a bit of time okay mm. the best part about these themes is that they are responsive to all the uh, what do you say devices now the devices when i say the major devices are a mobile or a you know a laptop desktop and also a tablet yeah aside from this do you have any uh, can you give me like more names for like uh, where to buy the theme website website theme well theme aside forest, from this yeah theme forest is the best one and ah, okay uh, there's another one which is theme uh, themeify.me right. .me yes i'll just go ahead and type in the chat window All right, so I have the access to all the themes which are there on Themeify. So you can anytime mm -hmm. look on to all the themes on Themeify, whichever one you want, I can give it to mm -hmm. you like that. Okay. So the theme which we were looking at at Theme Forest. So I clicked on to Live Preview. It's it's still opening up. Once. Yes, it's, I can uh, see. Yeah. All right. So if it's opening up for you, uh, you can see a, a preview of that theme. You know. it will give you a, a quick glance at how your website is going to look like all you would be needing is uh, the content which would be put in over here so this these themes will actually come with a dummy content all right um yeah by the way like if we're going to buy the theme is it like a one time charge or do we have like to pay uh, or renew it yearly like the domain and hosting all right so this is a one time charge you don't need to pay okay. you need to renew it again and again okay, okay. so that's the best part about these themes so uh, another thing is that you are not getting into that so or the entire headache of uh, you know uh, designing across things yeah. and also you know hiring a developer and a designer your website mm -hmm. would be up and running with the entire uh, theme the, the the skeleton would be up all you would have to mm -hmm. do is the internal content which will come with it which is going to be the dummy content you can go ahead and recreate mm. it with your kind of with your content so let's say there are like 10 images you can delete the existing images and replace it with your kind of images there would be uh, some okay. content which you can delete by going into the back end of your wordpress panel and upload uploading across your 
content on the play in place of the existing dummy content. All right. So this is a preview of this theme. All right. If you go ahead and buy this theme, your website's homepage is going to look something like this and so forth. All right. So these are, there are certain more internal themes on, in this. So you can have a look. So maybe one of your, so if you, if you buy this first one, it's going to look like this, the second one, third one. So there's so many options you have. Okay. Right. So whenever but it's only you, like uh, one page? No, they're going uh, to be multiple pages. They're going to be multiple. Ah, okay. So you have okay. kind of websites. You have one page websites, themes also, and you have multiple page website themes also. All right. Mm. So like you asked me, what is the minimum and the maximum? So when I told you $29 and the $89, the expensive one, uh, mm -hmm. that's where it comes in. $29, uh, 29 dollars is a price majorly for the one page themes only. Okay. And uh, if I talk about, uh, you know, 59, 69, those are the, the pay, I mean, those are the prices for those themes, which are, uh, which have got multiple pages, various pages. Mm -hmm. All right. So you, and then you can build your own pages. You can keep adding with several pages by yourself. Well, the structure would be up. You don't need to design across anything. Uh, there would be certain drag and drop, which you can do through which the website will get created easily. All right. Okay. Once that's get done, I'm still talking theoretically right now. Once you buy the theme, you will go ahead and upload the theme. I'll show you the process of uploading the theme. So there would be a certain zip folder file, which in which the theme would be there, which when you will buy, you will get that zip folder. You will upload that zip folder by getting into the backend of your WordPress website, right? You have the access, you're being given the access when you were installing WordPress. We saw that a while back. I'll show you the process on how is that being done. Once you will upload, your website would be up and running. All you would have to do is, you just have to go in and make changes, make changes, onto your um, content on the website basically. All right. So okay. let me just go ahead and buy the domain as the first thing. So the domain was being, I think, added to the cart. I'm clicking on to continue to the cart. Oh, not this one. I'm sorry. Just a second. All right. So this is where, so when we are buying the uh, domain, we just want the domain and uh, we don't need anything else. So I don't need the privacy protection and so forth. So I don't want to spend on anything else. So privacy mm -hmm. protection, uh, basically what it means is that if you want to hide your uh, personal details, right? personal details mm -hmm. in the sense your name, your uh, address and your phone number. And see there is uh, whosoever buys across a domain, their mm -hmm. details are visible on one of the website called who is .net. I'm, I'm just telling you who's mm -hmm. uh, it's who is .com and who is .net. So today if I want to, uh, I go ahead and, uh, type in across any particular domain on this website, which is called whois.com, I can get to see the name of the person who has booked that domain. So give me a particular website. I'll, I'll type in the name of, type in that website and I'll tell you who owns this. So who is like, it? Mm -hmm. um, our company. Yeah, tell me the URL. I and A, www. Yes. That. I N H Indian Nancy Hotel. I N H. Yes. Advertising. Yes. Dot com. I N H advertising dot com. Yes. Is this, is, all right. So I hope I have written it correctly. I N H advertising dot com. Yes, it's correct. So, you know, this is what GoDaddy is asking. If you want to protect your personal details, you can pay them extra. If you don't pay them. Mm -hmm then anybody can go to whois.com, type in your domain name and get to know your personal details. So let's see whether INH advertising has, the person who has bought the domain has selected the private, uh, have paid for the privacy part or not. So mm -hmm. let me just check. All 
All right. So it says INH Advertising Dubai. This is the phone number plus seven one five two eight four yeah four three four seven. The email is uh, Faria at INH at INH yeah Fari- ADV yeah Faria Iqbal. Mm. So everything is there. Yeah. So the, mm. there is no privacy thing paid over here. All right. It says Faria Iqbal. Okay. This and. It says Dubai, and the entire address is not mentioned, but mm-hmm. the, but the address and uh, but the email address is there. All right. Uh, so who yeah, yeah, yeah. wants to connect with Faria can actually call up on this number and can email also. That's that's what. Mm. So I'm I'm repeating the name of the website. It's called whois dot com, and the yeah 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 who is the server com? details. The name server details is also present. So I I told you there is something called name server. Name server mm-hmm. is the uh, is is a unique uh, ID which is given across to every single server. So this is the name basically. All right, web host. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm going back to GoDaddy and oops. All right, find your perfect domain name. I think I lost it. I it took me a while. That's why they took it back from me. I would have to do that search once again. Okay. Okay. So you know what? Uh, they're not giving me at a lesser price. Reason being, I've already uh, bought across the domain from this particular IP address. Uh, so every particular place has got an IP address. So they offer. Mm-hmm. uh you know a lesser price for the first year when you have mm-hmm. oops there this a different domain which they're showing me okay they offer a lesser price only in a scenario when i am booking it for the first time so if you want to buy across the domain you can do that or i have another option which is called incognito window so on google chrome you have this you when you go on the right hand side these three uh you know dots are there you click, that, yeah, yeah and then click on to incognito with incognito sometimes you do uh do try to deceive godaddy and you can you can get that domain for a lesser price let me just try once again so it's called luxuryrose.online this is buying the domain uh domain right that's right, right. do you want to buy the domain yeah. and keep the ownership with you you can try doing that uh i'll give you the hosting and also mm-hmm. the, whichever way you want to in case you want yeah. to do that it's just uh, going ahead and it's just uh, it's just going ahead and uh, searching for the name and then uh, adding it to the cart and paying to them if you want to uh, do that yourself you can and keep the ownership with you of the domain you want to do that or should i shall i go ahead and purchase it no i'll just do it like for example i'm sorry uh can you just like show me how to do it all right i'm i'm showing you so uh you go to google.com and type in buy domain for less mm-hmm. you, you can first uh, you know enter into the incognito window all right mm-hmm. this is the incognito by clicking onto the right hand side three dots and then clicking on the new incognito window mm-hmm. and uh, in the incognito when you get google just type in buy domain for less okay when you type in buy domain for less the ads which you'll get just search for the godaddy ad it's not i think i can see godaddy ad <laughs> ah yeah it's here on the second You don't see the GoDaddy ad? It's I. It's here. It's 
so I can see it now. Okay, okay. You got it? Mm. All right, so have you uh, got the domain also by searching for the same? Let me know if you face any trouble. Once you get the domain at a lesser price. So are you getting any offer this way by typing in what price are you getting? Hello? Yeah, so. Have you have you got a have you got a have you got the domain for a lesser price? Uh, for which one? Uh, on GoDaddy, did so? Did you type in buy domain for less on on Google? No, no, no. I haven't tried. I didn't okay. try it myself here. Okay, okay. Just try doing that. Mm -hmm. And and let me know. So, uh, if you are able to see. On your screen, so just try doing it on your laptop by opening an incognito. One second. Sure. Same name, right? Uh, for yes. this one, the luxury rose. Yeah, yeah, whichever one you want, right? By domain for less. Your domain is available. All right, tell me your email address. I'll, I'll try to create uh, an account here, a uh, parallelly from my side also. What's your email address? Um, Maria. Yes. At I hope I have spelled it correct. I N H yes, yes. It's correct. I N H A E D V dot com. A D V No A D V not advertising. A D V only dot com. Yeah, dot com. Okay. Yes.
Or else I'm just trying to see if I can book it from my end. Uh, Palady, mm -hmm. if you do it from your side also, it's okay. Let's book the domain. All right, just give me one minute. I'm going to grab my card and I'm going to pay for this. I've got it for a cheaper price. I'll buy it. Just give me one second. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so I'm just pausing my, the screen share uh, till the time I'm entering my credit card details. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. no. I think you're somewhere near the airport. Isn't isn't that Sorry? so? Are you are you near? Yeah, the yeah. All right. No, our house like um near is near the airport. That's so why you can hear like planes, <laughs> like after every after a minute. Okay, where are you originally from? I mean, Dubai is mostly about immigrants. Yeah, yeah, from Philippines. Okay, all right, that's good. All right, so I'm just buying the main. Give me another two minutes. No problem. All right, so the only so now I've shared my screen back. The only thing which you uh, didn't see was the payment mm. part, which is I think uh, not to be taught across. That's easy. So I've I've got the domain right now. So the domain has been bought. Mm. Okay. Now I'm. Uh, what you can see, I I'll just give you the access to this uh, so your username for godaddy is the same as your email address okay okay uh, okay you which see. is m a r i at i n h a d v mm. dot com and the password okay. i am typing in 
which you can save it with you. Now this is gonna you can change it later on. Okay, you must. Oh, yeah, have, yeah. You you must have received an email in your same email address for confirming your account. Just log into your GoDaddy account using these details which I've given you. GoDaddy. So in, in your password, the M is in caps, okay? The first, okay. yeah. And the other, other letters are in small. So Maria. Okay, I am already logged in. What should I do now? All right, so you've logged in. Now, can you log in also to your, I mean, can you just check your email? You must have received an email also from GoDaddy. Okay, one second. Verifying your email address, yeah. Yeah, ready. All right, you, you, you got the ver email verified? The it's done. Information. Uh, All right, so you, you're breaking up a bit. Yeah, it's done. Okay, you, you've, got, you've got an email from GoDaddy and you've clicked onto that verification All right, uh, link. Yeah, your email is verified. Okay, it's verified. Okay. Now, since we have got the domain uh, purchased, I'm referring to the same document again. Okay, it's still, it's, it's still showing that you need to verify the email address. You have got the email from GoDaddy and you have opened that email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and in that yeah. email, there was a link which they have asked you to click onto it. To verify it. Yes. Or right, have you? Click, did. You clicked onto and that. It, uh, it, yeah, it shows me here. It shows you that it's been verified. Yes. But for me, it doesn't. Uh, can I? Can I give you the access? Can I share your screen and see that? One second. I'm I'm using my uh mobile for this one. Oh, okay. You're using your mobile for this one. Okay. Yeah. Where is she? No. Because uh, GoDaddy is still saying that you have to verify your email address. Is it a uh, ukgodaddy.com? uk.godaddy.com? This is what what's giving me right now. Uh, have you and have you received it? So on, on your email yeah. address, which is maria at inh at adv.com, you received mm. email from GoDaddy? Yes, yes, yes. It's from GoDaddy. Right. Uh, mm. If you can enable the camera, I can show it to you. Yeah, so I'll just try to see if I can uh ask you to share your screen it says here all you need to do is click the button below to verify your email address so that's what you, i did yeah you clicked and, on that button yeah yeah 
and it says here uh, welcome your email address is verified okay get okay. started using your products now okay okay you did just now no it's like two minutes ago two three minutes ago oh okay okay it's still showing me let me just see okay maybe their system is a bit slow in terms of again they're showing me this this is strange yeah okay I'll, I'll tell you a few other steps which needs to be done if it's been verified now the next step which is to be done yeah, yeah. is to go yeah. and, uh, buy the hosting now we will not be buying the hosting I already have hosting with me okay so step two you can consider that uh, it's been okay um, all right I'll, I'll just uh, book the done. book yeah. the hosting for you all right it's the same process I mean, just like you do online shopping for anything, you did online shopping for domain and similar you can do for hosting. But this, in this scenario, I'm giving it to you. So we will not be doing this. The third step we'll now come on to, which is that mm -hmm. we connect hosting with domain. I'll give you the name server which needs to be entered. And how you will enter these name server is by going into your GoDaddy account, you will need to click on to the domain section. So I'm not able to see, uh, I mean, give you the access to share your screen. I'm not sure why. Yeah. But okay. just because you're from phone, that's why maybe. Yeah, yeah. How can I minimize this uh, screen, the menu for the, for this session? So I can log in through this screen using this same laptop. Okay, okay, go to your laptop and use the same link. Yeah, but uh, how can I minimize button? <laughs> I cannot see. Okay, on your phone. So you can let this let this session go on your phone also. You can log in from two devices. Mm -hmm. So you can, uh, so you have your, so on your laptop uh, or your desktop, you have that joining link, the meeting, Zoom joining link. Yeah. yeah. So you can you can click onto that and you will able to you will be able to join into that to this meeting from your laptop also. Then the joining link which you use for for coming to this session. Mm. I'm doing it now. Sure. So once I join uh, from uh, for the session on using my mobile, I'll just uh, leave meeting on my using my laptop, right? Yes. So, so I can go you, to the yeah. Once you will join in using your laptop, you can leave from the mobile. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what's the meeting ID? The meeting ID, let me just read it out. One second. No problem.
I think it's 436. 436. 984. 984. 264. 264. That's yeah. it? Yeah. All right, so I think you've joined in using, uh, yeah. it says. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. And it's, it's uh, you're sounding uh, better this time. And it says Karen's iPhone. Are you again from a phone? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, earlier you were. I want to log out using my, uh, this one from the laptop. Okay, so uh, bo both the. Both the logins are through a phone only? No, no. What do you mean? Okay. So, uh, earlier, earlier you were logged into the session using a phone or a laptop? I, I, I can't hear you. Uh, you. You're breaking up. Hello. 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 Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not able to hear. Yeah. You're breaking up. Can't hear you. Shall I give you the? Uh, so can I see your screen now? Uh, is it possible? You can you can type in the chat window. Uh, the recording. Is still saving. All right, so now you're logged in using a phone or a laptop? Uh, I'm using. Oh, earlier, so you're using your phone. Earlier, were you using a laptop only? Because we need a laptop. Uh, actually, we need a laptop uh, to see your screen. Oh, okay. You were using your laptop earlier. I'm so sorry. I thought you were using a phone only earlier. So why I was not able to give you the access? You might have to. I might trouble you again to use your laptop only, please. Because the moment you try to log in through phone, your voice is also not coming. Yeah, I'm so sorry for that. Yes, please log in using. Right, so uh, you're, you're still breaking up. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yeah, it's getting better. It's okay. Getting better. So what should I do now? Okay, I was thinking I could give you the access to see your screen, but that's not happening. I think only uh, the main host can do that. Okay. Main, I'm not the main host. I, I forgot the name 
So Gray Campus Incorporation is the main host. Okay, I'll, I'll instruct you again. So when you are there on your GoDaddy account, when you're there on your GoDaddy account, uh, are you still, are, are you able to see this? Are you getting this message on your GoDaddy account? Please verify your email address. Just click on to domains. Once you're there on your GoDaddy account, are you able to see the same message to verify? Are you around? Uh, just trying to check, Maria. So once you're there on your GoDaddy account, Are you able to log into your GoDaddy and uh, if you can click onto the domain section, can you hear me? Just trying to check. All right, you can hear me. So what I'm trying to say is that when you go to your GoDaddy account, your, your voice isn't coming across to me. When you go to your GoDaddy account and uh, please click onto domains and then all domains, are you able to see that same message which says, please verify your email or it's, I think now it's been verified. Okay, perfectly, perfect. Once you are here, I am telling you the next steps further. What you have to do is, you have to click on to GoDaddy, uh, uh, when you have to go to GoDaddy and then get onto the domain section, click on to all domains. Now this time we will be changing the name servers, okay? I'm clicking right up over here in this particular uh, section which has this wheel button. So you see this wheel and then right next to it there's a drop down. I'm clicking right up over here and then clicking onto domain settings, all right? So I'm clicking onto domain settings. I'm repeating again that we are changing the name servers this time since we have to connect our hosting server with the domain hosting server will be provided by me. 
All right, so once I have clicked on to domain settings, this screen comes in. I'm going further down on this page. And here I can see the option which says manage DNS. DNS stands for domain name server. I'm repeating again, it's domain name server. It's the same thing through which we will be able to connect across our domain with our hosting. I'm clicking right up over here. Okay, I'm going further down. Now this, this is the page, the DNS management page which has opened up. I'm going further down and here you can see it says name servers. We will go ahead and click on to changing this. The name server which I'm gonna upload or, or mention over here is the one which is there of my server, all right? The hosting server which I have with me. So you don't need to buy it right now. I'm clicking on to change and it says default and custom. There are two options. When I click down to change the name server, there were two options, default and custom. I'm clicking on to custom and the name servers which I'm mentioning over here, I know the name server of my do, uh, server. That's why I'm placing it right up over here. This you usually get across from the server provider only from wherever you are gonna buy across your server, your hosting server, they will give you a specific name server details for your server. So that's what you get and you mention it right up over here. All right, so that's how I've done. I'm going ahead and clicking on to save. So the same uh, name servers have been changed. Let me just quickly go ahead and uh, can add, give you across a name server, a, a, a hosting server basically. All right, so I'm giving you access to, I'm giving you a hosting, all right. So this is my panel. Basically, you don't get a panel like this for yourself. I'll give you the C panel, name server details, uh, like I've mentioned already in the domain. That's something which you will do when you will do it for your client or so forth. All right, so just forgot your email address, INH, all right. So here's your C panel detail. All right, so I've given you the C panel also. All right, so uh, the C panel details are there with you, and also the GoDaddy details are also there with you, right, Maria? Now, what I'm going to do is we will go ahead and install, we'll open across your C panel right now. Let me see if the C panel is ready right now or not because usually it takes across uh, some time once we have set it up. Uh, Maria, no, I'm not able to hear you. All right, so it's not set up right now. What we can do is we can go for a 20 minutes break kind of a thing and uh, let's okay. take, all right, so you're breaking up. So we'll mm -hmm. take a break right now. You can also go for a break and then after the break, we'll see whether this is set up or not. It might take some time. I've set up the, all right, so uh, we will meet after 20 minutes, okay? Thank you. Uh, I, I can't, you're breaking up. Can you type? 
Can't hear you. You're breaking up. No, no. You can you can stay on the meeting. You can stay on the meeting and just mute yourself. All right. Perfect. So we'll meet after twenty minutes. Thanks. Yeah, twenty minutes. All right. Thanks.
<laughs> right, so they, we can get started, yes, uh, after the break. You can hear me, right? Yes. All right, perfect. Well, how should we go about it then? I mean, shall I talk right from the beginning that where did we start from and so forth? Mm, because we are actually done with quite a many stuff over here. Also, the other thing was that I was trying uh, uh, to give across sharing rights to Maria. Okay, instead of a co-host, can you make me the host? Because you know, I, I kept waiting for you to actually uh, give across access to Maria for you know, seeing across her screen. I think only the host can do that. Co-host is not able to do that. Maria, are you around? Just trying to check. Yes, I'm. Yes, I'm here. All right, thanks, Maria. So, Maria, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, see if uh, your screen mm -hmm. is gonna be shared or not. So, uh, see, the C panel is up now. The same C panel details which I gave you. Can you try opening your C panel? I give you the URL, the username and password. Yeah, 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 one second. Sure. Hi, Rema. Are you able to hear me, Rema? Hey. Hey, hi. See, uh, we started like uh, two, three hours back and um, we have covered, uh, uh, you know, stuff related to how to get a website set up. I started this session by introducing myself and then I uh, went there and understood from uh, Maria, she's the, she's the other trainee other than you. And she told me what exactly she's expecting out of this training. So you have missed a bit. I'll, uh, how, how should we? I'm already logged in. Okay. Sorry. So why shall I, why shall I, know, I do now to start? Because I missed a lot. Yeah, that's what I am also trying to figure out. <clears throat> See, the session is getting recorded anyways. The recording will be shared with you, uh, Rema. All right. So I'm just giving you a brief that uh, we are, we are, we have started our session today with uh, getting across a website set up. All right. This is what uh, we decided on. So we have decided to actually cover how to create a website today. And if time would permit us, we would also start with Google AdWords. Here. When we, uh, when I say starting a website, uh, there are certain steps which I've highlighted in a different document, which would be shared with you as well. And I have shown it to Maria in totality. So the steps are mentioned when you will see the recording and when you will see the, uh, in a document, you will be able to relate to it very easily. So what we are doing Rema over here is that uh, uh, one of the domains 
So a website domain has been purchased by me for Maria. And uh, I have given her web hosting also. Uh, what is a web domain? What is a web hosting? You will get to see that in the recording. And uh, step by step approach has been mentioned. We have bought the domain, we have bought the hosting, we have connected hosting and server. Step number three has also been done up till now. Now we are actually going ahead and uh, doing the step number four of our entire process of setting up a website. The step number four is in installing WordPress. Now, what is WordPress? WordPress is a content management system which is used for getting a website set up. So we haven't Rema started with SEO or Google AdWords. So uh, you're okay with that. Okay. So uh, it's just that certain portion of the website setup is something which you have missed. All right. Mm -hmm. The last three hour session, you have uh, missed that part. You can anytime refer to the recording later on and see this document also you'll be able to relate to it. I'm continuing the session from, uh, from the step number four only. I know, uh, Rema, you might have, might f uh, feel some issues, uh, some trouble while understanding these things since you haven't seen the first, uh, uh, you know, few steps, like the top three, four steps. So keep, keep listening. Uh, you might, you might look into the recording later on and then you can get back to me with your questions. Okay, Rema, does that sound fine? Okay. All right. Do you have any questions? Like uh, any anything which you have in your mind which you want to share with me? Yeah, I I don't know what is a C panel. All right, C panel. Right. I I have explained in my entire uh, session itself only. C panel is basically uh, being provided by the server guys. Now, like I said, this is an entire uh, step by step procedure which I'm following for setting up a website in a non-technical manner, okay? You, you will see that when you will get to refer to the recording. And I have mentioned in that that C panel is basically a control panel, that's the full name to it. And this is where all the functionalities of your hosting server is there. And I say hosting server, hosting server is a, uh, is a you, can, you can just try to visualize a computer basically where your website files are stored and made public in the world wide web in the internet space. We will get into the cPanel right now and uh, we'll install WordPress. WordPress is a second element of your website, which is used for managing your website, which is used for uh, making changes to your website and so forth. Okay. I've actually covered this entire document with her. So maybe for another uh, one or two hours by when I would be done with this entire uh, process, you might feel certain problems in terms of understanding some of the things. I'm saying it again. But when we'll, once we'll start with a new, new topic, then it would be okay with you. So you might have to feel that uh, uh, pain for a certain period of time because you missed the first part. But I've tried my best to actually give you a brief of it, a brief of uh, what exactly are we doing and what are we going to do further now. Okay, so I'm opening up cPanel, which has been created for Maria's website, and I'm seeing. Uh, I'm. 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 Maria, I'll just see if I can give you the share screen option. I think it's not there. Uh, let me. Let me do that. So I'm making you the host. So Maria, I have made you the host. Now you can share your screen. Hello. Yeah, Maria, can you share your screen? Yeah, are you getting an option to share your screen? Shall I stop sharing my no. screen first? No, no, no. You're not getting it. Uh, give me one moment. Right. So try try doing it now. Try try checking it now. Maybe you maybe you might get across an option of uh, sharing no, no, it. No, no. I'm, I'm getting sorry. it now. I'm getting it. You haven't got an option. You, you've got an option. All right. Perfect. Yes, yes. <clears throat> That's great. So we can see your screen, and uh, you've already verified this. You've already verified your email address, right? Which has come from Kadari. Yes, yes. All right, perfect. 
So I, I've given you the details for your C panel. Uh, if you can just go ahead and uh, try logging in onto your C panel using those same details. C panel. Yeah. One second. One second. Yeah. In the chat, I gave you the username and password and the login credentials for your C panel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just have a look. I just want to open a new yeah. window. So it has to be forward slash C panel also. After luxury rose dot online, you have to continue this further forward slash C panel. Just look into the recording or look into the chat, sorry. Uh, where's the chat? Okay. You have to type C panel also, forward slash C panel. Did you get to see in the chat? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Actually, okay. I already opened in my access in my my mobile. Oh, okay. I'm okay. now doing it. Yeah, I'm now doing it. Uh, okay. On my laptop. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what? Mari. Uh, It says invalid. Let me try again. Sure. So M is in caps for the password. M is in caps. Yes. Now it's working, I think. Yes, it's working. Can you see it? Yes, absolutely. That's great. So what we'll do now, we will actually install WordPress. So you go further down on the screen down on the screen okay you have to look for quick install all right so keep going down furthermore down yeah some more this one yeah yeah the first one absolutely underneath software we have got quick install you'll need to click onto this i'll click this okay yeah okay And then, all right, so we go further down. There would be several options in terms of uh, installing various different CMS. We have got install WordPress, install Drupal. We'll click onto the WordPress one. So just click on get WordPress. Oh. Yeah, right. This one? Yes, absolutely. This one? Yeah, absolutely. Click on to get WordPress. Okay, perfect. Now you, you need to click onto this button called install WordPress which is on the right. Yes, that's right. This one? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. 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 Now you have to fill up this form. Just click onto this drop down arrow button. It'll give you only one option. Right. Luxury. Okay. Right. And uh, then type in your email address in the admin email. And then? Your, uh, so whatever you want your website to be known as, so let's say, uh, maybe luxury rose by Maria, whatever you want to type in, maybe just three, four words. Let's say, yeah. Okay. All right. Then, uh, what do you want the username for your WordPress to be? You can mention it over here. Let's say your, maybe your first name let's you can say. type in. Yeah. Then your first name and last name in these respective lines. Okay. All then, right. Now you can click on to install WordPress. All right. So let this process okay. uh, continue. You can, all right. Yeah. Just, just wait. This is, it says your install is running. All right. Now it's been done. It says your install is completed. 
Okay, do you see this uh, tab on the mm. top? It says view credentials. So, con yes, yes. Right next to view credentials, there is this drop down arrow button. Click onto that drop down arrow. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Now you can see the WordPress details have been given to you. Now, this is a third set of username and password which you need to save with yourself. Okay. First was the GoDaddy, the second mm -hmm. was the cPanel details, and third now it's the WordPress. You can uh, uh, okay. save this entire copy and paste it to any particular document which you want. And now we will, once you do that, we'll open also WordPress. All right, so you can copy and paste it to whichever document you want to. Mm. One second. Sure. Tell us, I already took picture. No problem. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can change the password later on. I know. Hello? This. Yeah, you can change the password later on since the session yes, yes. is getting recorded. So you can change it later on. Now let's try to open the WordPress. So yes, you've, yes, got, yes. you've got the login URL with you. Uh, where can this one? Yeah, this one. Absolutely. Well, where should I go now? Just click, click onto this. All right, do one thing. Give me the give me the entire credentials. Uh, copy paste this credentials and give it to me in the chat. I'll, I'll uh, show it to you from my side, and then you can make changes. Sure. Later. One second. Yeah. What should I do now? Uh, in the chat window, if you can share that. Yeah, it's. I already shared it now. Uh, in the chat, you have shared it. Uh, yeah. Okay, I haven't got in the chat yet. Has it gone to someone else? Uh, maybe to Gray Campus only and not to me? Yeah, yeah, Gray, how, how should I send it? To okay, you? In, in the, in the- I can see it now, it's already only sent to Gray Campus. Okay, when you actually, when you're typing in the chat window, it says, to whom do you want to send it to? So, uh, you'll see the names. So, you can select my name in the chat window. One second. Uh, uh, where can I uh, see the name? Sorry. In the chat box itself. Mm -hmm. So in the chat box, when you are sending uh, a text, it will show you mm -hmm. the name to whom you are sending it to. Yes. Where should I? <clears throat> okay, here you no. go. Right, right. Now I'm going to go uh, take back the screen share access from you and I'm uh, showing my screen, okay? Okay. Uh, well, you would have to stop it from your end. Uh, can you just stop the screen share from your uh, end? Where should I go? Sorry. Uh, in, the, in the Zoom toolbar only. Zoom? Here? Yeah, yeah. So you will see screen share, share screen option will come. You just have to stop the screen share. One second. I can't find it. In the Zoom. Zoom, Zoom yeah, the Zoom toolbar which is coming. Okay. Uh, no, no, not this one. Not this one. Uh, okay. Uh, where so the Zoom toolbar is where uh, everyone's name is there and so forth, which is there on the this top. One. The one on the top, yes. And uh, yeah. do you see the option of which says? Uh, ah, um, this one's top share. Yeah. Top share. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. All right. Perfect. Now I can share my screen. Okay. All right. So I'm continuing the process further. We have. Uh, you know, installed WordPress and I'm opening across the WordPress of your website and then we go ahead and upload across a theme. Okay. Here we go.
All right, so I'm logging into WordPress right now. Your website is uh, halfway through in terms of getting it developed. We've got the domain, we've got the server, we've got the WordPress installed also. We are getting into the WordPress back panel. If you'll open your website in a new tab by typing in just luxuryrose.online, your website at this point of time looks like this. Let me show you. All right, so your website is looking like this at this given point of time. Mm. All right, we can, we can go ahead and make changes to this by uploading across a theme. Like I told you, there, is a, uh, there are several themes available. I can give you a paid theme yeah. right now, uh, which you can select any specific theme which you want from themeify.me. So I'll, I'll give you five to 10 minutes of time to actually look at the several themes which are there on themeify.me and let me know which one do you want. I'll go ahead and give you that. I'll install that on the website. So you need to go to themes and click on do all themes on themeify.me. One second. Um, I can't understand what, what we are doing now. <laughs> you joined in late, so that's why I'm sorry. What shall I say? See, we are creating a website. That's what we are doing. As you saw uh, a while back, that the steps which we are taking are, are to do with setting up a website. And this is, we, we are halfway through in terms of setting up uh, Maria's website. So uh, Maria actually went ahead, got the domain, got the hosting, got the domain and hosting connected. There were several steps. You look into the recording and you will get to understand this. So that's what that's the best I can say to say to you right now. Uh, yeah, if okay. you have joined the, it. Word, mm -hmm. the WordPress, it's like control button. The WordPress, uh, or? Uh, to to a certain extent, yes. Uh, WordPress is also it has its own panel. The the panel for WordPress is like this. All you do is you do multiple things over here. Whatever you want to do uh, in, uh, in in you know in terms of changing things on your website. You perform over here on the back end of the website. Whatever you will perform over here, it will get reflected onto the front end side of the website. Now, this back end is only visible to you, you as the website owner. So, if you are a website owner, you can only make changes to your website. People who will come onto your website, what they will get to see is the front end, right? If you go onto Amazon, which is not owned by you, you only get to see the front end. What's happening at the back end of the website, you don't get to see only the website owner, only people who have got the access to the back end of Amazon can can uh, really do the changes, right? Yeah. Please, can you talk more slowly? Because okay. you speak fast. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that. I'll, I'll speak slowly. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, uh, Maria, I want you to go to themeify.me click on the themes and all yeah i all right so there's so yeah. many themes i like i think the first one uh the shopee yeah or the ultra the shopee yeah yeah can you please uh, uh right i'll click on to this do it now yeah mm -hmm. and i'm clicking on to demo so i'm showing you how it does this really look like yes All right, so we're just gonna see the live demo of this.
All right, so this is taking a bit of time to load up. All right, so it's right up over here. Okay, so once I'll upload this theme, a look and feel of your website is gonna be something like this. Okay. All right, so I'll just go ahead and, uh, you know, buy this theme. Give me one second. <clears throat> and upload it onto your WordPress. And I'll show you the process, the way it's been uploaded onto WordPress panel. Okay, give me one second. So I'm already a member of this. I'm just trying to reset my password. This is strange. All right. Okay, so the team which we have selected Shopee team. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and so this team is getting downloaded. All right, and as you can see. 
it's getting downloaded in a zip folder all right mm. there is a zip yes. folder which i will since i've purchased it what i'm going to do the next step would be to go to the web to the wordpress again and upload this theme i'll just tell you the process how do we do this so we would go to the appearance section i'm telling you uh the process of uploading the theme when you are there on the wordpress dashboard this is the wordpress dashboard the wordpress dashboard comes in when you log in to your wordpress backend for your website you'll get the get this dashboard right on right over here on the left hand side in the left hand side you will get to see this tab which says appearance you just need to click on the appearance and then click on to themes appearance and then themes click right up over here should we okay. going with you I'm, I'm sorry should we going that with you just watching you missed the first half that's why i know uh, mm -hmm. see we are we are uploading a theme what is a theme a theme is a already set up uh, structure of a website we have bought a theme we are uploading that theme now once we'll upload the theme the look and feel of our website is going to be very different so right now the website looks like this okay i want to change the design and layout of my website and i want it to be something like this this is what we have actually decided upon i want my website to look something like this that's why i purchased this ready made theme so i don't need to hire a developer or a designer for my website to be set up across once we purchase this and we when we are purchase it we're going to upload it onto our website and the way we have done is we are going to the appear we have gone to the appearance section and then clicked on to theme and then now we we'll click on to upload all right let's okay. click on to upload after uh nick yes maria question yeah uh you mentioned that no need for a web developer if you're going uh if you're purchasing the theme for the website right so are you going are are you trying to say once we upload uh, uh sorry once we upload the theme that we we just bought uh it means no need for like a web developer who can do the back end of this everything absolutely we don't need that because everything would be set up ready made for us for higher end uh, functionality mm -hmm. that there is very much uh, a strong functionality which you need then in that case you might need a developer but for all the basic mm -hmm. functionalities you would not be needing ah uh, okay a good looking good. website would be set up without the help of a developer how about the content of the website even for that you don't need a web developer you would be able to upload it on your own uh, without mm -hmm. any help being taken from a web developer okay all right so uh, after clicking on to appearance and then themes we clicked on to upload and now we have got an upload theme tab right over here again i'm clicking right up over here it says choose the file i'm clicking on to choose a file now it's asking me to upload the theme i've just downloaded the theme i'm clicking on to downloads this is the shopee theme i'm clicking on the theme by shopee.zip and then i'm click on to open once i click on to open i've chosen the theme i will now go ahead and click on to install now so as you can see it shows uh it's 9% done on the bottom it will show the percentage 10% done so we would have to we will wait for the 100% uploading to be done now okay
gutom na ako. All right, so I think it's been done in full. Let me just check. Okay, it's, it's still happening. <clears throat> All right, it says team installed successfully. Now the next thing after uploading the team and installing it, we have to click on activate. Okay, that's next step. I'm clicking on to activating the team. I'm speaking a bit slowly so that it becomes uh, easier to understand. If in case uh, you want me to speed up or you want me to slow down, you can always let me know. Okay, now it says, uh, do you want the data, the content also, the dummy content on your website also to be imported? I'm going ahead and clicking on to import and then clicking on to proceeding the import. Nick? Yes. Uh, can you also show it to us um, how to like edit the content? Like for example, yes, the yes, words... yes. Oh, yeah. Once, okay. once, the, yeah. Once the team gets set up, then I'll show you definitely the way we can edit the content. So as of now, we are getting the dummy content which comes with this theme. Mm. All right. Once the okay. dummy content would be there, we would be in a situation to upload our content, get across our content and uh, delete the existing one so let me now refresh the website url you can even try to open it from your side All right, so your website looks like this as of now. This can be changed, all right. Mm -hmm. Do you see that your website is looking yes, yes. a bit better than what it was earlier? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Even like I'm, I log in through my mobile, it's working also. It's yeah. working fine. That's great. So... So there can be many things which can be done on this. I will not get much deeper into this. There are certain uh, mm -hmm. you know, documents which are available. As you can see, it says documentation. You can anytime read them and then uh, get to understand how the other stuff could be set up and so forth. I'm just letting you know the major uh, important ones. That's for editing. If you want to for editing, yes, yeah, yeah. for for editing, what you need to do is, let's say I have got so I've got my website right right up over here. Let's say I want to make changes to uh, this page itself. I want to change the content right up over here and so forth, or maybe one of the other pages. What I can do is, let's say I'm going to a specific page. I want to change. The content on that let's say this is a page I want to edit this content mm -hmm. and place some place something else once I'm yeah. on this page it says uh, 
edit the category, click right up over here. And the category name is accessories, whatever change you want to do over here, you can name it something else. Okay. Description, whatever you want to put over here will come over there itself. This is one thing which you can do. All right, so let me show you. So instead of accessories, let's say I'm typing in, all right, as of now it's showing accessories, right? Let me type in luxury accessories. So I've typed in luxury accessories and All right, so this is something which I have posted right now. I'm clicking on to update. Okay, now it says category updated. If I'll go to this page and refresh it. All right, can you see? It says luxury accessories instead of accessories. Since I edited this, it, this is what we yeah. can do. And the content which I mentioned in the description which said luxury accessories from Luxury Rose by Maria, this comes right up over here. So same thing can be applied in for changing many more things. So let's say I want to edit this portion. I'll go ahead and click right up over here, edit. All you have to do is you have to go to the website and you'll uh, on the front end of the website and click, keep clicking on to edit, which will come either on the top or maybe in the middle and keep making changes. Now, whatever changes I'll make over here, that'll also get appeared in the respective page. So the page which we are on right now, is this one, all right? So this page, it says ear end sales for hiking tools and this all entire content is there. I can change. So I've edited this, I can edit the content which is right up over here. As you can see, this is the same content, right? Whatever I'm gonna edit over here, All right, I'm just typing in whatever it's coming to my mind. I can go ahead and then update this. The moment I update this, it's gonna, so every particular page will be edited in this fashion. Mm. All right, now we changed this portion, right? I'm gonna go ahead and now refresh this page. It's a time consuming task. It would involve a lot of effort, but uh, it's worth doing it. All right, so we have got this up. We've got this changed. Now let me see how the image is gonna be changed. <clears throat> now the image which you're seeing over here, image place folder, I can, I select it onto the image and uh, if there is an image right up over here, there's no image, I can upload an image from my from my laptop i can i can pick and choose any particular image all right let me just go ahead and uh, download any specific image and then upload it All right, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm gonna download this image and uh, we'll upload it onto our website.
this entire process needs to be done in this fashion. Get your website set up in full. Now I'll click on selecting a file, which is going to be an image. All right, so this is the image. I'm clicking on to set featured image. And now I'm clicking on to update. And now I'll go ahead and refresh this page again since we have made a change to this page itself. All right, now the image was a bit smaller and uh, the placeholder was bigger. That's why it's getting, so I would have pixelated. to- Pixelated. Pixelated, right. So I would have to look for a better high quality image. But you've understood the concept like, you understood the process, how do we edit the content, how do we edit the images and so forth. Make sense? Yeah. 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 All right, so this entire process is a bit uh, lengthy. You would need a lot of time to actually get this set up. So that's how your website is, is going to get ready. Any questions, any doubts you have, feel free to ask that across so that I can answer it respectively. For me, for now, no, nothing. All right, thanks, Maria. And uh, uh, anything from you? Uh, I'm sorry? Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick, uh, this, uh, the, the theme that we upload, it's like responsive, like it will work in all different gadgets, like iPhone, tablets, computer. So no need to resize the images or something yes, like you that. Yes, you don't need to do anything for in terms of resizing it. This is all mm -hmm. responsive, okay. right? Okay. You can see uh, the size of the image is also getting changed in the same ratio. It's not getting mm. cropped, right, when I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the content which says Luxury Rose by Maria, it's, mm. uh, it's also not getting, uh, you know, cropped. The image is also not yeah. getting cropped. It's all getting, yes, yeah. yeah, in the same proportion. So it's all, it's all responsive for all the devices and so forth. So that's the best part. All right, so again, anytime, go ahead and make changes to your website like this. And uh, in case at a later stage you need some other uh, particular theme, you can let me know. Okay. Okay. Cool. Perfect. So, so, so that's related to web design or uh, that's something different? Well, it's not complete web design. We, are, we have created a website uh, without help of a designer and a developer. So if you, as a marketer, uh, you cannot really get into learning you know the designing tools and development coding and so forth all you have to be really uh, focused as a marketer is on the marketing side but since in certain instances if you're being asked or you've got a requirement to set up a website then you can set up a website in the most easy and the effective way in a scenario when you do not have a designer or a developer or this this particular process also works well when you have a pretty small client or you, you have a pretty small business who wants to get a website set up in the most cost effective manner you don't have to spend in a lot of money for getting this kind of a website set up uh, if you will hire a designer or developer de developer definitely the cost will go up with this way probably by spending in uh, your peanuts, forty, fifty dollars, or maybe lesser than that. You're getting your website set up, and that to a very good-looking professional website. That's what the idea behind doing this is. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, see, I can do many things over here. I can add many buttons and so forth. So, uh, all you have to do is you have to really spend in time onto this and in multiple things, right? So you've got edit tabs everywhere on the on the main page <clears throat> okay so with that being said what I'll do now we we can start with paper click then sorry 
the paper, the Google AdWords, basically. Ah, oh, okay. Right. So this part, which is how to create a website, is being done. Okay. Mm. What we do is we understand the Google AdWords part. So when we say Google AdWords. Google AdWords is the name of a product which Google offers to advertisers. Now, as mm -hmm. a business, uh, any particular business who wants to promote across uh, its product or services on in the internet space, we did uh, talked about this in the beginning of the session. A business can actually promote its product and service on the internet either using search engine, and within the search engine also there is a paid and the unpaid uh, way of promoting a business. So let's say if a particular website which offers iPhone 6, let's say, maybe let's say Amazon and so forth, they are promoting their uh, website with the help of the paid ads. So this is a paid ad and this is also a paid ad. And the listing of the website is right up over here. This is through search engine optimization. Uh, I'm assuming that you are aware of this, Maria. You are aware of this, right? Because you did mention that you want to know about SEO, and I'm assuming that you you are aware mm -hmm. of the difference between the paid search engine promotion and the unpaid search engine promotion, right? This is actually awful. not really. Okay. See what happened. About, I I I want to know more about the paid and the unpaid uh, advertisement in Google. Yeah, so when we say unpaid, unpaid is not advertisements. When we say paid, paid is definitely an advertisement. And we are mm -hmm. starting with paid today. So if you are uh, a business owner or you're working for your client, you're trying to promote mm -hmm. across your client's website mm -hmm. in the search engine space, you can do it by giving across money to Google. And Google will charge money on per click basis. Per mm -hmm. That's the reason why this is on pay per click. Pay per click ads. That's the name given. So, uh, I'm, I'm typing it. Pay per click ads. Pay per click ads. Okay. Right. And how much are they charging for this? All right. So it differs from keyword to keyword. So for mm -hmm. whatever keyword I want my ad to be up for my website, uh, depends upon the keyword, how much they will charge. There is a particular keyword planner tool, which I'll show you that will give us an estimate, an approximate figure that this is something which you would really need to spend in per click basis to get your website onto the top. All right. There is a competition which runs across uh, between various different advertisers on the basis of which the per click cost pricing uh, gets determined. So let's say a particular keyword which is let's say buy iPhone 6. This would be a very competitive keyword. The definition of competitive is that there would be a lot of advertisers who would try to get across their website on the top for this keyword. Mm -hmm. Not just Amazon, there would be eBay, there would be several other players who would be fighting for this. And when they fight, when they all want to be on the top, not everybody can be on the top. That's another thing. Yes. So uh, the fighting which happens across is on the basis of bidding. Basically, there's something called bidding. Every advertiser goes for a bid. Bid. Mm -hmm. I hope you understand what exactly that means. Bid means the maximum amount which we as advertiser are willing to pay per click. Today I can mention that I'm willing to pay one US dollars per click to Google. Now the mm -hmm. second competitor, so there's one competitor to me who says that he, he will go to his Google AdWords panel and will say to Google that I am ready to pay two dollars per click for the same keyword which is by iPhone 6. Let's say mm -hmm. another competitor, second, third, fourth, and they're like various other competitors for this they're fighting for the same keyword to be on the top. They all have, they all will go ahead and put in across their bids. Now, higher the bid, higher the chances are there for your ad to come on the top. If you're not mm. bending in, if you're not uh, bidding in uh, higher, the 
the overall chances of your bid to get uh, your your ad to get on the top is very less. So in order to get across your ad up in the search engine results on the top, you have to mention a good amount of money. All right, in the mm. Google AdWords panel. When I say good, good amount of money, it doesn't mean that uh, uh, you would be paying a huge amount. You would definitely go with uh, seeing your pocket also that how much can you afford per click. And also, uh, uh, it should not be so low that you are not able to reach out. So it has to be a balanced approach, basically. Mm. So okay, and uh, yeah, go ahead, Raman. No, no, I'm go, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Nick, I just have a question. Yes, like, uh, you mentioned about the bidding, right? But uh, this is only for like a big companies. How about the small companies? Do they also bid? So yes. So they're actually uh, placed on top of the search engine or what? Right. So every particular company who wants to create ads and uh, showcase their ad in the search engine results, they all have to go to that process, go through the process of bidding. Oh. Okay. Even if it's a big or small company. Even if it's a, a way too small or even if it's a way too big. Okay. On a medium size. Every company yes, has yes. to go through that process. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's preferred to be on bed because uh, uh, a lot of people will just click. I'm sorry to say that again. It's preferred to be on bed because yes. a lot of people just uh, uh, click. And Oh, okay. So you're saying that people come and then click and then they don't do anything? Yeah. Yeah. Just... So, I know. Uh, so you're going to lose out money in that case. Yeah. This is uh, one thing which will pinch your business for sure. But not every time this will happen. There is something called fraudulent clicks, which Google uh, you know, keeps a track of. Let's say today... I am Amazon and I have my competitor, which is eBay. I want my competitor eBay uh, to really uh, go down the drain and I want to hurt him. Okay, since he's my competitor. I can do this false practice of clicking onto his ad again and again and again and again, thinking that, you know, eBay will actually keep on getting harmed since there is a click after click after click. Well, Google keeps a track of it. What Google does is, after two clicks from a same IP address on a particular ad, Google doesn't count the third click. Mm. Google is also smart in that. Google makes sure that the advertiser who is showcasing the ad by spending in their hard-earned money, they do not have to feel that uh, uh, pinch if somebody is trying to fraudulently click several times on their ad. Only two clicks will be counted across and the advertiser will pay only for the two clicks in this case. Okay. All right. That's a great question. Any other question which you're uh, thinking of, do let me know. I can surely go ahead and answer that. Okay. All right. So we will concentrate on the paid advertisements. When it comes down to promoting across your website on the top of the search engine results, you do it either by paying to Google and that's what pay-per-click ads are, all right? Or you can get across your website on the top in this uh, non-ad tabs. As you can see, this one is an ad which is done through sure. Google AdWords. These search listings which do not have ads, so search listing number one, number two, number three, these ones, they do not have an ad symbol. These websites are able to come on the top by not paying to Google. They haven't paid anything to Google. No matter how many clicks happen on this particular search engine result. So if this is Flipkart website, the Flipkart website will not be paying even a single penny to Google because this is an unpaid way of getting your website on the top and the name which is given across to this unpaid way of getting your website on the top is called search engine optimization, SEO. So search engine optimization is a total different process which we'll understand uh, tomorrow and so forth. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are certain things which we do on the website 
which we do on the website in order to get across our website on the top. Not just our website will be uh, going across through this process of SEO. Every particular advertiser tries to promote its website in the internet space, in the uh, search engine listing space, basically. The unpaid listings. These are called unpaid listings. The one with SEO the is unpaid listings? Yes. SEO is okay. unpaid listing. I'll just tell you certain term terminologies. <clears throat> mm -hmm. If we if we try to understand first of all what exactly a search what exactly a search engine is, well, search engine is uh, I'm I'm just trying to cover up certain basics over here. We try to define search engine as a tool which have been, you know created by technology companies like Google and so forth, and they created for the purpose of uh, definitely earning profits. Right, Google is there for earning profits, for earning money only. Without earning money, there is no role for any particular organization. These are all profit-making companies. And Google, as a profit-making company, has created one of the tool called Google Search Engine. Google doesn't just have Google Search Engine. You know that Google has got Google Maps. Right? It has got Google Mail and several other products. Right. Similarly, Google Search Engine is also one of the product and. Uh, it's created for the purpose of again to earn profits, and these profits basically come comes in from the advertisers who create these ads, the ads which I was talking about, the pay per click ads only. So Google gets money from these advertisers only by selling space, right? This particular space, and that the process of uh, earning money is through the pay per click mechanism only. Now. How this entire process works is that that these search engines are there for the help of various different people for answering questions to their for uh, for giving answers to their questions to the queries. Right? So search engines help the internet users to get answers to their queries. Mm. Right? Well, when when do we use search engines? When do you guys use search engines? For what purpose do you use search engines? You use search engines for fun, entertainment, for your commercial, for your uh, for your uh, business, or for your uh, work purpose, right? Whenever you need answer to something, or maybe for your online shopping purpose, and these are the various scenarios, right? If I'm looking for a movie to be downloaded onto the internet, I'm looking to get across answer to a particular question. I'm looking for something else. What do I do? We usually go to Google and then type in across our question, and we expect search engine to answer our query right we expect okay. isn't that so yes yes correct right so uh, when we get across the answers uh, what happens is that we 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 get these search results we try to click on the first and the foremost if that answers our question it's good uh, if it doesn't then we'll try to open the second one or the third one or the fourth one and so forth Till the time I do not get answers to my question, I'll keep keep browsing in further, or I'll keep going further down and so forth. Now, let's say I'm taking a scenario. Let's say Google is giving me results of those websites which are not answering to what my query was. Okay, I go up till the second page, third page, fourth page. I have gone up till this page, and uh, I haven't got got an answer. So the, let's say this particular process doesn't happen once or twice, uh, 10th, 11th, or the 12th time. I mean, it keeps happening. I'm really pissed off with Google. I, I'm not getting answered. Do you think I'm going to come back to Google? No, you have to search again for another search engine. Yes, that's what happens. Now, why Google is there uh, in uh, is, is so famous in the entire world is just because... Uh, Google has been able to deliver quality results. Google keeps a track of uh, the content which is there on several websites. Google looks, looks into uh, various things uh, which helps them to maintain the quality and showcase the best of the best website on the top. All right. Yeah. So we as an advertiser also have to understand and think that Google is always trying to push those websites on the top which are doing, uh, you know, uh, things in the great manner. When I say things in the sense, creating content and publishing on their website, great content, quality content. So one of the 
best ways to promote across your website in the search engine results on the top post is to make sure that your website is uh, created in the best manner. The quality is not being compromised. If you're following, if you if you are uh, you know focusing so much on the quality, your half job is done in terms of your in terms of getting your website on the top, either on the paid or on the unpaid section. Okay, mm -hmm. the idea behind uh, promoting across your website is definitely to get across more traffic, more people coming onto your website, more the number of people on your website. More would be the number of sales or inquiries or leads which you want to generate, right? Yeah. Yes. So at the end of the day, every advertiser wants maximum traffic, and to get maximum traffic, uh, the, through search engines, you are trying to uh, get hold of uh, attention of your targeted customers. When I say targeted customers, your potential customers, your potential customers are going to be the ones who will type in the keywords which are related to your product and services. So uh, any particular website you want me to take an example, I can take that. For, for a website which is selling across a particular product or service, they usually try to get their website on the top for those particular uh, keywords which are uh, very much related to their product and services. Mm. Right? Now, for getting our website on the top in the search engine space, there are quite many things which we do, which we'll understand tomorrow. Today, we are going to understand only the paid part, the paid uh, search engine listing, basically. So as you can see over here, there is an ad, there's a search ad right up over here. There's a search text ad right up over here. How did I determine this with the ad symbol here? and an ad symbol right up over here. These are two search text ads. And these ads, these are also ads since this, this is saying sponsored. Either it's sponsored or either it's ad. If any of these two things are mentioned, it means they are paid. paid. They're, all, okay. yes, they're all paid. They work on the mechanism of per click only. So whether it's Amazon or eBay, they all are going to be paying across a certain money on every single click. Now, how is that money uh, going to be calculated? How much do they need to pay? That's a different, uh, there, there are different logics behind that and so forth. Now, if I'll go ahead and click onto these ads, you know that the advertiser's website would open up. So I clicked onto the Amazon ad and the Amazon web page opened up. Now, higher your ad is ranking, your higher your ad is ranking, better are the chances that you will get across the maximum amount of traffic. And more the traffic, more is the probability for getting across a uh, good amount of sales and so forth. Right, so that's what you want to achieve. Now, the moment I clicked onto the Amazon ad, there could have been a specific amount which Amazon would, uh, from Amazon's credit card, it would have got deducted. It could be $1, it could be $1.5, it could be, 10 cents it could be three dollars also now uh, how is that being determined i'll tell you that it's all supply and demand basically it's a lot of uh, bidding process you know if there are so many people who are fighting for a same keyword and they're they keep bidding higher then the pricing for for those keywords goes up and if there is a particular keyword which is not in competition only uh, i mean less number of people are eyeing for that same then the pricing per click would be lesser Okay, now the moment I clicked the, onto the Amazon ad and I went onto the Amazon's page, this is a landing page basically where I landed. So the Amazon website's landing page, when I've come over here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look into the details over here. I was looking for, let's say iPhone 6, I'm taking an example, and I typed in a keyword called buy iPhone 6. The moment I typed in buy iPhone 6 and I came onto this web page, what I found is that there are details about iPhone 6 which I was looking for. I look into the details. Now it's up to me whether I'll go ahead and buy this product or I might not buy this product. I'll close this web page. I'll I'll leave. I'll I'll stay on this web page for a longer. So different people with different uh, reactions and different actions would be there. So let's say just like me, there are hundred more people who type in the same keyword and they come onto the Amazon web page. Uh, maybe out of hundred, 
uh, 80, 80 of them, uh, 80 people actually go ahead and close this web page straight away. Some of them close this web page after a minute. Some of them close this web page maybe after 10 seconds. Some of them might close this after three minutes. But I'm assuming in this example, out of 100, 80 have closed this page and they haven't added the product to the cart. And the remaining 20, they have added the product to the cart and they have bought it. So what it means is that Amazon has spent, Amazon has spent what uh, money for 100 clicks and they have received 20 sales. Makes sense. Amazon has paid for. Sorry. Amazon has paid for 100 clicks since they were. In my example, I did mention right there are 100 clicks. Out of 100 clicks, 80 people mm. do not stay on the website. Yes. Are we are we on the same page? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Uh, I hope it's making sense for uh, you also, Rama. What? You're not getting me? Yes, I'm with you. I'm sorry, did you understand what I was talking about? Yeah, I like it. All right, so can you repeat what did I say? <laughs> no. I got lost because uh, you talk so fast. Oh, okay. okay. Mm. All right, so we will we, we go for a break right now. Let me just speak to the host over here and uh, find out a resolution. So we will go for a 15 minutes break. Will that be fine? 15, 20 minutes break. I'll be, yes. we'll, we'll be back. All right, perfect. Yes, yes, no problem. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, guys, just trying to check if you can hear me. Back from the break. Hello? Yes, yeah, Maria and Vema. All right, so I was just talking to, uh, all right, both of you can hear me, right? Uh, that was Maria, right? Yes. All right, all right. And, and Rema, are you also there? Hello. Yeah, all right. Rema, you're also there, right? Uh, Rema, can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. All right, okay, perfect. So I, I, I was just uh, speaking to uh, Ayushi from Great Campus. So uh, we, we're done with, you know, the first topic, which is the website creation part. And uh, we want both of you to actually, you know, work on your website. Uh, Rema, you will get the recording. You can follow the same steps and get across uh, your, you know, your domain setup. And uh, for, so for Rema, for you, I would make it easier. I, w I would want you to actually uh, look into the recording maybe once or twice to understand the stuff and then come up with your questions. So your task is to actually look into the recording for uh, before you know tomorrow's session and uh, Maria for you uh, the task is to actually set up at least five pages of your website so your website is already set up you have the wordpress credential you can uh, revise the entire step by step procedure and get the web pages at least five web pages up will you be able to do that maria uh, i'll try let me try <laughs> All right. So, Rema and Maria, would you be able to do your respective task here? Yeah, you can type in. Yes. Right. So, uh, can I get a confirmation from Maria and Rema, both of you, that would you be able to do your respective task? So, Rema, I want you just to have a look at the recordings. Okay. Right, uh, understand the concept. Yeah. Tell me. And Maria, for you, I want you to actually uh, get across at least five pages of your website uh, in shape with, with certain, I mean, certain small little text also with four to five pages at least. That won't take more than half an hour. Okay, no problem. Right, so that's going to be uh, your task for tomorrow. Uh, Nick? Yes. Yeah. Nick? Yes. Yeah, I'll be getting all the recordings, right, within the day? Yes, yes. Within the day, you will, both of you will get the recordings from uh, Ayushi from Great Campus. He'll share that. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, uh, they, they will send through email? Uh, I would have to check with them. Whichever way, I think it's going to be most probably through an email only, they'll send it. Or... So they they okay. link maybe then from maybe you can download it from there or they they might actually upload it somewhere and then you can get it from there. So you you'll, you'll get the recordings that's for sure today itself. I've spoken to her. I've spoken to Ayushi from Gay Campus. She'll make sure that both of you get the recording and uh, like the task which I have given to both of you. Make sure you do that. Now since it was getting a bit heavier today in terms of consuming mm -hmm. content with regards to Google AdWords and SEO. Uh, we we mm -hmm. continue this session tomorrow only. So once you actually get a good okay. grip on this part, once you get a good grip on the website part, then only uh, then we'll continue Google AdWords and SEO tomorrow, both of them. So we're gonna create website. Yes, yes. Yeah. So Rema, you don't create the website, but you just look into the recording first because for getting the website set up, you can just go ahead and buy the domain hosting. I'll provide you. Okay. We're gonna buy a domain. Yeah, you just look into the recordings. That's that's the only thing which I want from you, Rema. Because uh, since you joined in late, I want you to look into the recordings and understand the concept. I've uh, tried. I've tried my best to actually uh, speak in a very non-technical language in this entire session. You can refer to the recording again and again to understand the step-by-step -step procedure. And uh, Maria, for you, uh, do set up, uh, you know, at least four, four pages, set up four to five pages 
to to a certain decent stage of your website. Yeah, to my current website, right? Just yeah. do like uh, five changes or something. Yes, yes, that is great. Okay, no problem. All right. So uh, once you'll get a good grip on this, which is today itself, then tomorrow we'll start mm -hmm. on time. Make sure both of you join on time, which Ayushi has mentioned. And tomorrow we'll start with uh, Google AdWords. We, we have understood mm -hmm. certain basics of uh, paid and the unpaid, right? Like what is paid and what is unpaid. Mm -hmm. we'll continue it tomorrow then. Yes, yes, no problem. Right? I don't want to burden you guys with so much stuff in one single day. So what we did, mm -hmm. let's, let's give you, give both of you time to actually consume uh, and, and consume the content which I've already given it to you. Yes, yes, no problem. All right, so we'll wrap up the session for today and uh, you'll get the request from Ayushi from Cray Campus. I'll remind her once again. Mm -hmm. Refer to the recording and okay. do the task for today. Make sure you do that and join in tomorrow same time. And there would there's going to be an expert tomorrow, uh, other than me. So we've got two trainers for this training. Okay, so there's going to be another digital okay. no expert tomorrow who will take on with you and Google AdWords. So uh, you you love and enjoy mm. the training tomorrow. Also. Yeah. So tomorrow same time, ten a.m. Tomorrow same time. Yes, guys. Absolutely. Okay. Right, Rema, you will be joining on time tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, please do so, right? So that you, you don't miss out on anything, please. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, Thank, have you. A, Thank have you. A, Thank you, Nick. All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye now. Bye. Bye.